ones you see here at SeaWorld's Discovery Cove in Orlando are saltwater animals. In the wild, they live in the sea and in the brackish water of estuaries and inlets near our coasts. But in this sea rescue, a young dolphin travels too far inland, ending up in a freshwater bayou in Texas. Now, dolphins can't survive for long in a freshwater environment, so the race is on to rescue this wayward dolphin. It's early morning, and the rescue team at SeaWorld San Antonio in Texas proceeds a request to help save a dolphin 300 miles away. Somehow, a young male dolphin has managed to swim 25 miles inland to the bayou, and now he's trapped in fresh water. This animal was not swimming in a natural pattern. It wasn't traveling. The animal did exhibit some freshwater lesions. Left in that location, it would likely not survive. At the mouth of the body, a rescue team assembles, made up of the Texas Marine Mammals Training Network, Texas Fish and Wildlife, and SeaWorld. Our plan was to encircle the dolphin with a net. They lay out hundreds of feet of netting in a wide circle around the dolphin. We completely surrounded the dolphin in what we call a compass. And we were able to get him in a relatively narrow area. We thought we had him. Oh. Oh, no. And sure enough, he went right up and over. It's disheartening for the rescuers because they were so close. They now have to pull in their net and start over. All the rescue folks that were on the boat kind of looked at that and went, oh, that's not a good thing because he just learned how to get out of the net. The rescuers redeploy the net for a second try. Sure enough, as that net started closing in on him, oh, he jumped right out of the net. So the rescuers set their nets again, hoping the third time would be the charm. They slowly close in around the dolphin until they have him surrounded by three rescue boats. Now he's in the center of a triangle and he can't get out. Or can he? Suddenly the dolphin jumps. One brave rescuer actually grabs a 200 pound animal with his hands. Other rescuers also managed to get their hands on the dolphin, and with T1, they gently move it away from the water and into the sea boat. Luckily, there's no long-term damage from the exposure to fresh water. The rescue team wants to make sure that this dolphin is healthy enough to return back to the water and be successful. We want it to survive and be successful out in the environment. Rescuers keep the dolphin cool with water as they race back to the dock. They carry him to a waiting van. And then it's a 45 minute drive to Sea Rim State Park on the Gulf of Mexico. At last, the rescuers make it to the water's edge, the final act in this amazing adventure. They wade into the surf just far enough the dolphin to swim. Then there's nothing left to do but say goodbye. When you see a dolphin that you've just rescued swim back out into the water, it's such an emotional feeling. It's a feeling of fulfillment. I mean, this is our passion. This is our promise to be there for animals.